the stage, okay? So we're about to do this on Facebook Live over here. There's a lot of people that couldn't make it. Uh, for those of you out of town, Houston had a very interesting day. A lot of flooding, so I thank everybody for uh, for coming out today. I heard actually traffic was pretty light today getting here, so maybe that was a added bonus. But there were some people that couldn't join us, so uh, we'll let them join in. Uh, so I'm Brian Gendron, founder of Knoxerve, and uh, thank you all for coming out. Really appreciate it. I'm going to start with a quick story. I'm going to go into a little bit about what we do, and then I'm going to talk a little about how you guys can help us and uh, and give you a little bit of a side hustle. Does that sound pretty good? Yeah. So, uh, quick story. Uh, Monday, uh, I was uh, I had malware on my computer. I had a computer virus. That's true. Uh, it was a pretty nasty one. And what we were able to do is uh, our system was able to detect it. We were able to isolate it uh, and detonate it. And what it did was it uh, it created a, a side. I'm gonna get a little geeky on you here, but it created a, a hidden partition on my hard drive and took all of my files off. So basically, when I went to look for my files, they were gone. Uh, we have a recovery software that we have. We're able to pull up the files. When we pull them back, they were all uh, uh, corrupted. You couldn't open them. So that's a problem, right? Uh, so what we're able to do is uh, is go ahead and wipe my system clean, re-image it, okay? Uh, go to yesterday's backup, bring all my files back, and Tuesday midday I was up and running again. Uh, the reason I bring that story up is because uh, there's two services that I mentioned that Knoxerve provides in there. One is cybersecurity on behalf of our customers. So uh, it, that one, if you, if you guys are familiar with the term, that one smelled a lot like ransomware. Okay, there's a ransomware attack on my company. And if you don't know what ransomware is, uh, they're gonna come after me once they have my files locked up and they're gonna ask me for some money. They're gonna ask me for it in the form of uh, cyber uh, Bitcoin or, or another cyber currency. And that can be anywhere from a couple hundred bucks uh, to tens of thousands, to hundreds of thousands, to millions of dollars, depending on the size of the company. Uh, if they did that to me and it, and it really got out of control, probably be out of business, and i just start, right? <laughs> That'd be a bummer. Uh, but luckily, we were able to, to get a hold of that quickly and contain that and get my system up and running again. Uh, the other thing I mentioned was uh, disaster recovery. So uh, all of my files were backed up. We make sure that all of our customers' files are backed up daily. Uh, not just for cybersecurity events, but also just in case you delete a file or something goes missing, we're able to help you recover that. Okay. Uh, so now, what do we do? What does Knoxerve do? Of course, you can, you can look at our, our pretty marketing material that we just have printed. Uh, but we provide managed IT support on a contract basis for small businesses. All right. So uh, we have a, a NOC, which is a network operations center, which is where our name comes from, NOC Service. And in that NOC, we, can, we have a, a tool that goes out, and it's an agent that goes on all of their hardware where we can monitor and manage all of their, our customers' uh, systems. That could be desktops, notebooks, smartphones, network devices, servers, remotely, okay? Uh, that means patching, updating, making sure it's secure, making sure it's backed up, making sure it's available. Uh, so that's the day-to-day. -day. But what our differentiator really is is that we, we try to get become an integral part of these companies. Uh, we try to get a seat at their strategic table. Okay, so we try to work with the business decision makers, that's the CEOs, the CFOs, the COOs, learn about how they make their money, try to help them become more efficient with the use of technology or generate more revenue through the use of technology. Uh, I myself have 11 years of experience in the technology field. My true passion is marketing. And we talk about generating uh, uh, revenue for these companies. A lot of it is technology-based marketing. And so that, that's something a little bit different from the other MSPs or managed service providers out there. I think a lot of those guys are hyper-focused on you know, uh, providing that managed IT support, which we do really well, and we have some of the best software in the industry to do so, but I think we have that additional value of bringing that business acumen to these customers. All right, so I promised you guys I could tell you how you can make some money, have a little side hustle. So everybody hopefully got registered over here. If I have your email address tomorrow, I'm gonna be sending you some links to our uh, knockserve.com slash referral. On that is a couple of videos explaining uh, what we do. And my ask of you is our target is small business, okay? So really that sub 100 space. Uh, don't go lower than 10 unless they're really trying to grow and then, then we'll start working with them. Uh, and I'm offering $500, okay? To, to, and that's uncapped, all right? So if uh, Mike Kenyon's a hustler and he brings me 20 contracts, I will gladly cut Mike a $10,000 check. Sound exciting? Awesome. Right? So uh, so there's also a couple ways you can do it. You can take one of these flyers, give it to your business owner friends. Uh, you can watch the videos, call them up, say, hey, you got to sit down with my friend Brian. 
Uh, this is my full-time gig now. I just left my uh, my last job, got my last paycheck, so I've got a lot of time on my hands to have this. <laughs> uh, and uh, the last thing is I've got a series of webinars coming up, a few for cybersecurity, a couple for cloud, that you can kind of soft softball to your friends that, that might own a business. Uh, before I continue, uh, I just want to say a couple sp uh, special thanks. Uh, one to my wife, Elena. Uh, she corrected me quickly. I called her Mrs. Knoxer, and she's like, it's Dr. Knoxer. So, uh, so uh, Elena, of course, is a, a chiropractor, health pro chiropractic, and actually provided a gift for the event. Uh, Colin Lee, where's Colin at? Colin is the brains of this organization. He's holding his little girl, Maddie, whose birthday's tomorrow. Uh, maybe we'll sing a happy birthday later, Maddie. Uh, but can't do it without Colin. Uh, Bashir, who's, uh, who's employee number one, all right, and, uh, and who am I forgetting? My son Thomas for, for being my inspiration. Thank you, God, and thank you, all of you, for coming out, okay? So, enough of me talking. Uh, I've got a few prizes to give away. Was there anybody else from the chamber that I didn't get a prize from? Anybody else? No? Okay, so we're going to start. Bashir, if you could give me the fishbowl. Yes, sir. Everybody got a raffle ticket? Go ahead and pull them out. They're red. Don't make me draw blanks, because because we're live here. We don't want to waste people's time. First thing we're going to give away is a gift card for Aki, for uh, uh, Berry Hill Baja Grill. Okay, it's a $50 gift card. You see that one? All right. Thomas, you want to pick one of these out? Come here. You want to pick one out? This one. All right. You see. Give it to Dad. Are going to eat it? Thank you. All right, so 603, like New Hampshire, that's the area code from where I'm from. 603-149. All right, oh. congratulations. There we go. There go. And pardon me, what was your name again? Elena, actually. Elena, how do you spell it? How do you spell it? A-L-A-N-A. Oh, uh, okay. She has a Y-N-A. There you go, congratulations. You can keep it. I'm not going to draw it again. Here, it's a discard pile. Best you, you want to pick one? You want to do it again? Want to do another one? All right, so, so now we're going to give away, uh, so as I mentioned, Dr. Uh, Noxer has her own uh, uh, go, chiropractic and acupuncture clinic, and she's given us a medical grade pillow and three acupuncture sessions. And by the way, I, I do acupuncture about twice a week to deal with the stress of running a business, so I uh, highly recommend you take advantage of that. And the number is 603-154. Oh. It's 603-154. All right. Very good. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. might want to take it. This is your pillow. Oh, she wants to take a picture. Do you want to get in? This too? Yeah, that's fine. Well, I've heard a lot of ons. If you want to come in, I'm going to welcome. Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, Thomas, one more? All right, now I've got a uh, Galaxy tablet. Cool. All right. Too bad it's mine. I'm sorry. Good job, Thomas. Just one. Just one. Just one. All right. Thank you. All right, so 603145. Right here. Mike. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. There you go. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for coming. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. Is that nice. prizes? What else we got? Uh, I don't think that's it. Okay. So. Yes. Oh, we do have a golf shirt. We do? Okay. Peggy, what was the date of that golf tournament, by the way? April the 3rd. I was going to say the 2nd, so I'm glad I asked. Okay, so the, chamber, the Met, Houston Metropolitan Chamber of Commerce, who's about to do their ribbon cutting, uh, has a uh, uh, golf shirt and... One round of golf for a player valued at $175. Oh, he didn't. Uh-oh. Oh, he got scared. Okay, so the golf tournament's on April 3rd. It's in Pearland at the Pearland Golf Course. Uh, yes, thank you. And you have also have a round of golf at that tournament and a golf shirt. Okay? Be sure. All right. I'm trying to get away from this. Right. And if you don't want it, I will take it. I, I, okay. I'm playing in that tournament. And, and I haven't played yet. I haven't paid you. All right. Six zero three one four seven. No. There you go. Well, hey, look. I play golf with Troy uh, once a month. So. There you go. One four seven, right? You don't mess with me, right? No, you got it. All right. Let me get a photo here. Oh, yeah. Hold it a while. There we go. 
so I know Troy's going to go. Uh, well, try. great. Lucky you. We'll see you there. Yeah. I was going to ask him anyway. All right. Thanks, Troy. All right. So now uh, we have, uh, for the Houston Metropolitan Chamber people, folks from the chamber, could you please raise your hand real quick? All right, thank you for your support. That's terrific. We have a, a tradition for, for new chamber members, which is a ribbon cutting ceremony run by, yes, thank you, run by, uh, by Peggy and the ambassadors, right? So, how do you go? Right in this area, right here. Definitely, we just have some people behind you. Is that okay? Oh, yes, please. Yes. Chamber members, please uh, come aboard. <laughs> you actually got something. No, okay, yeah, yeah, everybody can come forward. There's not a lot of space back here. You know what, let me get out of here. Excuse me? Fill it in. <laughs> All right. Very good. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> we refocused it on it. Thank you, Meredith. Just please say something. Here, let me go. That's it. It's the cord right there. Closer. Like this tie. Thank you. All right, tighter. Yeah. Let's do tighter. Y'all ready? Go one, two, three. Yeah. Y'all count it down. Uh oh. Someone really got muted. Can you move it a little bit? It didn't cut. Oh, okay. That's it. That's bad, Ross. Yes. Thank you. All right. Hey, thank you, everybody, very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening, okay? Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate your support. Thank you.